Hey, happy Tuesday. Good morning. It is the 8th of August. I was up early this morning, 3 o'clock, posted uh, you know, my photo that I edited last night's Instagram. Try to get that East Coast time in so people that are going on the subway or going to work on the East Coast can see it. Um, and then went for a run today. I, I normally do a, a mile and a half out, mile and a half back uh, on some mornings, but today I decided to do a little bit different where I did a, a full loop around the neighborhood. That was 3.4 miles. Uh, still had a decent time. You know, my times don't, my times don't get better all the time. You know, the people that train for marathons, I have a friend that trains for marathons and, you know, her time kind of stays the same. I mean, it's, uh, I notice that her times are pretty consistent. It's like, I don't, I'm not too f aware of how you can improve your time uh, with running. With me, running is just, you feel it, you're, you're engaged in it, you get your heart rate up, you burn calories, you sweat, and then you get done. And then today, it's like I've been doing a lot of running lately because my ankle's been feeling better. And I've got, it's like, I got blisters all over my feet. And it's, you know, people complain about blisters and other aches and pains in their body. You know, I worked out yesterday and I'm, oh, I'm hurting here. And, uh, and I understand it's, I think it's a good pain. You know, it's, you know exactly where it comes from. You know what you did to get it. And with me, with my feet, it's, you know, it's, uh, feet can make or break your day. It can make or break a workout. It can make or break a hike or anything, you know, or any kind of physical activity. So for me, uh, taking care of my feet is extremely important. So hopefully these parts of my feet will develop calluses. I hope. But uh, I just seem to get blisters in the same spots all the time, you know. And it kind of puts me off for a day or two. And then I get back on it again. And then they heal over and, you know. But I stick with it. I just keep doing what I have to do. Um, you know, some people don't. And uh, that just makes... I don't know, for, for me, I would be completely fine with, you know, an insurance company that would allow me to or expect me to pay lower premiums or lower deductibles or increase my coverage if I took an annual health test, you know, cholesterol, psychological evaluation, all that stuff. That would be fine with me. Um, and I think that, you know, if you're on some sort of insurance where it's paid for by the government or the state or something like Medicaid or Medicare, that you need to get assessed. And if you live an unhealthy lifestyle, if you eat a bunch of cheeseburgers and drink a bunch of beer, then your premiums are going to be higher, you know, because you choose to live an unhealthy lifestyle. And if it comes out of, you know, the taxpayer's pocket, I think we have the right to say, you know, as a, as a, as a community that lifestyles like that, it's okay to indulge once in a while. It's okay to have a cheeseburger every once in a while. It's okay to have a beer once in a while. Um, but at the same time, it's like you can't continue to do that. You can't continue to just snack all the time and eat and gain weight and live an unhealthy life and not take care of yourself and then expect tax dollars to pay for your extremely high you know, health premiums and all these surgeries and deductibles and medications and stuff like that. You know, like, I believe if people get diabetes because they live a poor lifestyle, that's on you, man. You know... You have to take care of yourself, and if you get diabetes, that's on you, you know. I'm not saying let people die, but I'm saying that, you know, make them pay higher insurance premium. Make them pay something, you know, because people that don't have diabetes, there are some people that are born with it. I understand that that's, a, that's, a, that's something they're born with, but for people who lived a horrible lifestyle, eating whatever they wanted, drink whatever they wanted, you know, didn't care world didn't exercise a day in their life smoke cigarettes and they get diabetes you know that's on them man you know it's i think the people that are responsible and take care of themselves and choose to live a healthy lifestyle you know should be you know the reward itself is being healthy and being and uh not and not feeling pain all the time but it's you know the other thing that, that should come into into play with that is 
you know, taking care of yourself should be a responsibility of that person. If you don't, I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for people's poor decisions. You know, I understand that crap happens and, you know, people need that, you know, that safety net. But at the same time, it's like crap happens, but then there's other things where your crap leads to even worse crap. And so your decisions, you know, your burden. So anyway, just a little rant today. Got my workout in. I noticed that I haven't been doing push-up challenges, and so I haven't been able to get up as often as I would like on the weekdays. Uh, I noticed I'm getting up maybe two or two days or three days a week. When uh, before, when I was doing the push-up challenge, it was like three or four days a week, and I maybe slept in on a Monday. But you know, so maybe I need to find another challenge or something to get into. Um, because right now I've just been kind of running and uh, trying to get myself out and uh, kind of run with my shirt off to get some sun because I'm I'm real pasty, pale. Um, but anyway, it's gonna be a good day today. Uh, hopefully these this humidity clears, man. It's uh, like I say the the fire uh, fires from B, uh, British Columbia are coming down here. The smoke is and it's clogging up the atmosphere and uh, our clouds and it's blocking the sun it's creating humidity and heat it, it really does feel like new york in august uh if you haven't ever experienced that before it's just hot and humid and um kind of hard to get comfortable you know because we're not used to it here but we got to adapt make the best of it and you know pretty soon we'll be complaining about it being too cold and rainy so just have to enjoy it while you can so you guys have a great day i'll see you tomorrow